All right, what is up? I am here to teach you everything you need to know about Nova. Not everything, because I'm not extremely, amazingly awesome with him yet, but I'm pretty good. I know pretty much most of what I think he has potentially. So, um, basically, firstly, just to get this out of the way, Nova is a character that you're going to have to be careful with, because he does seem like he has very unsafe pressure. All of his moves look pretty unsafe. Um, and because of that, obviously, that's why you need to be careful, because you can be punished for it. But that's just something you'll learn as you go along. Um, so firstly, the ways he has to get hits. What are his good... Well, all of his pokes are actually pretty damn good. His medium and his heavy both, like as you can see, he kind of moves forward with his medium. Like, you know, you start across the screen, he kind of moves forward with it. Same with his heavy. He moves forward each time he uses the move. So, um, it's pretty much... It's very hard, like, once one hit hits... You're not going to miss the rest. As long as the light will hit, even when the light won't hit, the rest of it will hit. So that's very useful. Um, his crouching medium also moves forward in extremely long range, as you see right there. He can pretty much like about half a screen away from right here should hit. Yeah. And that's a low attack. It's even better than She-Hulk's slide. So, and that'll catch a lot of people unawares because, I mean, when you're right here, most people aren't looking to worry about a low attack. But you will have to for Nova because that's, I mean, it's a pretty quick attack. It's like about the speed of an overhead. So it's not, like, incredibly easy to react to. And, speaking of overheads, that is an overhead attack, which also, again, has incredibly good range. Unfortunately, it's pretty damn slow in regards to how overheads usually are, but it's still a very good move. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, always, it counts as an OTG as well. I mean, it doesn't count as an OTG. It will work as an OTG, but it also counts as a ground bounce. It's like Akuma's OTG. So if you hit him with it, you can't OTG with that move again. So I'll just I'll show it to you real quick. And don't use this combo, this combo's ass. But as you can see, see they just he just rolls right back. You can't follow that up at all. So, what should you do? Thankfully, his Centurion Rush, which is the DP move forward, which is this move, that one will OTG as well. So, you know, you say you start with this one again. So now, you want to go with that one, and then you go into whatever hyper you... That's probably not the hyper you want to use. This is the hyper you probably want to use. But, um, anyway. So... Those are just kind of like his moves, it's based all of his moves with special properties um, that you will like really need to know about. His quarter circle back, it is quarter circle back, right? Yeah, it is quarter circle back. That one will cause a wall bounce, and then this one will cause a crumple, unfortunately. The other two can be comboed into. His OTG and his wall bounce can be comboed into. This one, can, oops, my bad. This one cannot be. Uh, uh, fortunately, if you will watch him guard from like full range, it looks safe, right? Like, they both cover around at the same time. So, I mean, you know, he pretty much crouches right when Dormammu comes down. I'm not positive if it's safe, but it looks like it. So, I mean, that's something you'll have to test yourself, unfortunately. I ordered the guy from Amazon, and they haven't shipped it yet. Bunch of douches. So, anyway. Um, so, those are his, and the rest of his special moves. He has his quarter circle forward moves. That one, which is kind of like a projectile forward. Oh, not really a projectile. Energy blast. And then this one, which you saw, the shield. And then he has all of his DP moves, I mean, not all of his DP moves. This one, which is also an assist, uh, it's, it could be an effective way to get in. Obviously, as you can see, it's safe, but also has a lot of startup. Uh, so that's one thing you want to be careful of. And then his heavy, which is, you can co you can combo into that. It's basically, a, it's basically a launcher. It's a special version of a launcher. Of course, you want to let the heavy go all the way through so that it does indeed combo. So then as you see, you know, you get a combo off that. So it's cool. Uh, it's a pretty good move. You get a little bit of extra damage. It will require some testing. Obviously, I haven't tested everything to see if you get more damage off of just doing a launcher, if you get more off of using that move. But it's there. It's an option. Um, basically, combos. I didn't discover this at all. I So the one that Desk figured out, if you want to check him out, go to youtube.com slash biffotasty. He's the combo master. I'm going to do the plays the game. He's the dude that breaks the game. So he, he figured out how to break Nova, and the way he does that is that... Well, that wasn't the full combo he used, but I that's actually like... I'm pretty surprised I got that on my first try. Usually I drop the unfly part, but as you can see, you have to, you know, you jump up, you hit the C, you fly, then you unfly. I mean, it requires a lot of button presses, a lot of motions and stuff. I'm not used to using fly mode, so it's awkward for me. It's, I, it requires some work. But that is the combo that was found that was like one of the highest damage 
confirms that was found was using that style of combo. Um, the one I use, which is much easier, is what you saw. It's just, oops. It, it, it's not that. It's very easy to confirm. It does, I mean, it does good damage. It does do very good damage. It does like 650 or something like that once you hit, or not 650, it does about, ah, yeah, around there, like 600 to 650 by the time it's over. Um, which obviously is not shabby. Not great, not shabby. Um, but yeah, so I mean, this is the one. This is, oops. That's most definitely, see, now you're seeing me screw up. I got cocky and now I'm paying for it. But uh, that's the one you want to be trying to use for his combos, so get used to that, get used to flying, doing a move and unflying, because it gives him his best combos. Uh, let's see. So other than that, one thing you want to know about his moves, um, two things, basically, I have two most basic things, uh, his, and this one, you'll learn this one if you just go to mission mode, so how this does, go to mission mode, go to mission mode and learn some stuff about his moves, but this move right here, as you can see, it goes full screen. Now, if you hit him in the corner, the only thing you can follow it up with, it is hyper cancelable, is a hyper move but and it shows you this in mission mode you can follow it up full screen with the full combo you get a full combo and as you can see we're now back in the corner yay corner to corner combo so i mean you know you obviously get that corner pressure it's very good uh, another way to go corner to corner like say you're, you have your back to the wall i mean obviously you could just throw them and then do the same exact thing it's not only off of back throws you can do it off of all his throws uh air throws all of them. The way you won't want to um, follow it up in the corner is to obviously use his Ford Heavy. And you do get a follow up there. Hopefully. Please. Oh, I didn't cross under. Alright. There. Um, that's one thing. Uh, you can actually follow. I should do that again real quick. Um, you can follow it up if you use it. One thing. Oops. If you use the correct move. Which I did not. You can't, okay, well, anyway, you can follow that up. I haven't found a combo that is truly effective off of that yet, but, I mean, who knows? You know, maybe you're smarter than me and you'll find something better. But as you saw with the wall bounce, you actually really can't follow that up overly well because, as you can see, they fall behind him, so he'll be facing the wrong way when you try to poke him with that. But that wall bounce is very useful for another purpose, and that is for, again, carrying them from corner to corner. So you, let's say you have your back to the corner, you get a hit. All right, you got a hit. Excellent. Okay, well, I waited too long, but that works. <laughs> you just have to do it very quickly. Oh, man, now we're in the corner. And now I screwed it up. All right. So there we go. And now, as you can see, we're back in the corner. So that's a good thing to know. You know, you go corner to corner. Now, the other thing, and this is the thing that makes me antsy with Nova as a character. His moves utilize his red health. Not all of them. All of his quarter circle forward moves, whether they be the special moves or the hyper move, utilize his red health. Now, they actually get pretty good, but unfortunately, there's basically three thresholds. I'll call them level one, level two, level three. Level one is anywhere from none to like 9% of red health. There's no extra effect. Um... Level 2 is anywhere from 10% to 29% red health. And then level 3 is just 30% onwards. And that's the problem with it, is that if you hit it with a level 3, despite the fact that it gets no stronger, anywhere from 30% to 99% red health, it gets no stronger, but it will still take all of that red health. So if you have, you know, 80% red health, and you use the move, it's going to do the same damage as the 30%, but it's going to take all of your red health at once, which is a bummer. So, that's one thing you want to be careful of. It's all of these moves. Just pay attention. The easiest way I can show you is using this. So, just look at the size right there. That's the wrong person. All right. So, now look at the size right there. Okay. I hit the wrong button. Now, the size right here. Much, much bigger. They all get bigger. And then, they also have a varied, a varied effect as well. So, as you can see, if you watch right here. Okay. You got that. whoop you do. Then you got this one, it does more hits, and it, they also stagger for a little bit longer, so you can follow up after that. And then you have this one, which again, does more hits and staggers them for even longer. So, it's potentially good, and then obviously you have, as I mentioned, his hypers. So there's the level one. Here's the level two. 
And that does about 50,000 more damage. And here's the level 3. And this one does about 100,000 more damage. It's also mashable as well. So, as you can see, I ended up getting about 15,000 more damage off that. Let's see how much I get off the full one. Probably should have mashed harder than that. Actually, it doesn't even look like I got any more damage off of the big one, did it? I'll try to mash harder. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't mashing hard enough. See, you get good damage off of that, and you can mash that. You can also mash his, uh, this one as well. But it does, as you can see, that one's actually more useful to use unless you're, unless you're, like, this close to killing them. Hey, look at that. I kind of made, like, pyramids. That's cool. Anyway, um, I mean, that's the most useful one to use because the reason why I dislike sacrificing red health is due to the fact that how many times have you seen a match where it's coming down on the wire and somebody has, you know, just that magic pixel left, but they have, like, 50% red health and they manage to get that character out safely and they come back later and manage to win the game for them. Like, how many times have you seen that happen? And so you utilize that red health for these moves, and now that takes away that little factor. Which I don't think is worth it for the little extra bit of damage you get off that hyper. Um, but obviously, if you have that available and you're like at the end of the last character, at the end of the opponent's last character, and you have the DAC available, or that extra damage will kill them, obviously it's great then. But to use in the middle of a match is something I don't really, I don't really agree with. But obviously that comes down to personal preference, just letting you know. Uh, and then his assist, alright, his assists. Let me, actually, one thing I wanted to show you. His, his alpha assist, the one he is currently assigned to, it is that move. The quarter circle forward heavy move. And it will also utilize his red health. As you can see, it's now bigger, but his red health is gone. That's why, I, again, personal preference, but I'm never going to use that because assists get hit. Inevitably, assists get hit. And I do not want to call him in and lose a bunch of red health that I didn't notice because the health bars are set up so horribly. Um, gotta get that quick little I hate health bars notice in there. I gotta put that in like every single one of my videos. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then you have this assist, which is the one I personally use. Because that is an overhead, watch. Let me, I always hit the wrong damn button. So let's have him crouch, and let's have him, oops. Let's have him all guards, who's crouching. There you go. Blocks high. That is an overhead, so you can use the setup on blockables and whatnot. And then you have his other assist, which is a wall bounce. So, I mean, obviously, that's useful if you can figure out a way to continue combos with your own characters with that. There you go. So, it's potentially useful. Um, so, no. Oh, alright, sorry, I'm gonna have a quick little edit here. I had to check to make sure I hadn't said stuff about his air dash. Um, okay, so his air dash. He has a very good air dash, as you can see, it's very quick. And obviously he can go down, he can go up. As you can see though, he kind of curves a little bit. When he goes, you know, it's not just a straight diagonal line down like Magneto's, he actually curves. Um, so that's actually pretty useful because, you know, you get more forward momentum. Um, but like Dooms, he kind of slow, he slows down at the end of it. So obviously a way to cancel that would be to use a normal, then he lands much faster. And so that leads directly into the best ways I feel he has to get hits. Um, his first one being his instant, well not his instant overhead, but basically his, his dashing mix-up. Um, and his jumping light is very good for that because you can combine it, you can confirm it into a combo, and it hits very, very low. So it's just, watch for a second. See, like, I basically just hit his shin. Okay, well, I missed it that time. See, as you can see. Okay, not that time. I can do this. There we go. So then you can get that into a combo, then you can move on. Whereas obviously I need more practice, but then I haven't practiced enough. And it's going to require more practice. But the other way I like to do is basically just falling and mashing down heavy. Because he falls faster. And then... Alright, like, I don't know why he keeps flying. Like, he keeps stuttering there. Oh, I see. Look at that. Okay. I just learned something new. You do a straight downwards one, he goes fast. You do a down back one, he kind of stops there for a second. There you go. I learned something. You learned something. So you definitely want to be doing the straight downwards one. And as you can see, and then you just, you know, you can use either of his normals to do that. Then you can firm into a combo. Um, and the other way, it's pretty. It's a very gimmicky way. It is a gimmicky way to try and get a hit, but it potentially works. Just because it's crouching medium, it has such large range, it's very good. Nobody's going to be expecting to be hit by a low that far away. So, um, 
and a lot of people like if you you're hitting hitting them with pressure like you're right there and they push block you and you come right back in with that and they're not going to be expecting it they're probably going to get hit by it you never i mean obviously there are going to be players who are smart enough to recognize that nova has that but still it's not i mean it's not not a bad move it's a potential way to get a hit um so other than that i'm trying to think oh i need to go into his quarter circle back Hyper. His quarter circle back hyper is this. Now, at first glance, like, oh wow, did 100,000 damage, whoopie do. Um, number one, actually, really, to be perfectly honest, mid combo, really not that useful. <laughs> to be perfectly blunt, he can use it in the air as well, though, which is good. Um, but the reason why it is useful is that it is projectile invincible. Now, the problem is. It's not like, as you can see, there's kind of a little bit of startup to it. That little bit of startup is not projectile invincible. So if, like, if there's already projectiles, like, on the screen, chances are you're not going to be coming out. But let's say someone tries to use, like, a random beam hyper on you, then you just react to that and go for it. The other reason is that it's, uh, you can get more hits off of it. You have to hit buttons during it, though. It's unique in that regard. You don't, I mean, like, I know Super Scroll and MODOK have it where, like, a ch they have the charge thing where you got to hold a direction for them to go. Actually, I'm not sure if scroll now I'm, like, trying to talk like I know. Hey, let's, we actually have scroll in here. Let's see, what is it? So it does look like you just have to hold a direction. You don't actually have to... Yeah, you just have to hold a direction with him, okay. Um, but with Nova, you have to hold a direction and hit a button. So, you have to hit a button each time you want that extra hit to follow it up. I think, does it tell you in command list? I don't think it does, actually. It doesn't. It does tell you in, um, what's it called? In mission mode, though. It will tell you there is a combo that requires you to hit them with it and then follow up further with the extra hit. So, you will learn in there. But, uh, yeah, that's something you may want to know, because obviously, as you can see, I just got 170,900 extra damage off that. So, you can also use it to, like, change trajectory to escape. So, let's say, like, you're up in the air and somebody's about to blow you up, and you're like, uh-oh, I'm about to die, and then you, you know, run away. You can use it for that as well. Um, so, other than that, you have this move, as well, which is the only other move I haven't really talked about. It's a fairly decent move. It's kind of like Hidden Missile in that regard that it will, it tracks the opponent, but it doesn't track as well as Hidden Missile. If, like, somebody's being really active and moving, chances are it's going to whiff entirely. And the unfortunate part about it is that if Nova is hit or forced to block anything before it lands, it goes away. It just disappears. So that is, like, so it's kind of Hidden Missile-ish, but much worse. Um, but if they're jumping, I'll try and see if I can... Oops, that's the wrong action. Really? See, that's, that's, the, that's the problem. There we go. It ground bounces if it does hit them. So you can actually kind of, and then, you can confirm it into a full combo, except, you know, then you can't follow it up with the Ford Heavy. You gotta follow it up with his other OTG, but just, that's the only other thing I can think of. Um, I think that basically went through everything, I think. I'm trying to... That's actually probably pretty good for cross-ups. Oh, maybe not. All right, never mind. I lied. Yeah, okay. I thought I had a better hit. I thought I had a better hitbox than that. But anyway, um, so that's what I have for Nova. Hopefully, this helps you in some manner to learn something about the character, learn something before you go out there and do your business. So, if it didn't help you, let me know that I suck and need to know more about it so that I can do <laughs> so that I can do better in future efforts in doing character tutorials. So, that's my stuff for Nova. Hopefully, this helps you out. And we're done.